38 on your Wednesday. Thank you so much for joining us. There is a brand new pageant in town. Miss California Extraordinaire is a one of a kind experience for differently abled girls. The event will take place on Saturday, July 22nd in Escondido, and there's a need for the public's help. Now, I do have the co founder of the pageant and Miss US 2022, uh, Bree Gels, here to tell us a little bit more about what this pageant is all about. We have beautiful ladies joining us. Thank you so much. Uh, so, Bree, let's break down what Miss Extraordinaire is all about because this is such an incredible pageant and opportunity for young girls. Thank you. It's an opportunity for young girls with special needs of all sorts, ages 4 to 21, to show what they're made of, um, to express themselves where sometimes, unfortunately, the public doesn't see them as, I guess, just you know, sees them as an ordinary girl mm. when these girls have remarkable needs and personalities and talents. Um, all of these girls are just one of a kind, so it's an opportunity to allow them to feel beautiful for a day. And tell us about the competition and the different events that they're going to be doing. Sure. So leading up to the pageant, I host monthly outings. I call them Girls' Day Outs. We've been horseback riding. We've been to the local uh, museums around town. We have picnics, princess parties of all sorts. So all that's every month leading up to the pageant that our contestants get to participate in at no charge. And then the day of the pageant, our contestants have the option to participate in an optional talent okay. where some will sing, some will read poetry, some, um, or some, one of our contestants is gonna do a comedy show for us. No way! So it's gonna be really fabulous. And then uh, finally, each of our contestants will participate in an evening gown. Oh, how fun. What, what an incredible opportunity to um, show yourself in a beautiful light with all that confidence. And I do have a contestant here. Can you introduce yourself and also share yeah. with us, um, are you competing in the talent portion? Yes. Okay. Can I get your name? Hi, my name is Trinity. Trinity. And Trinity, what are you most excited about? Um, I'm happy that I get to do it. <laughs> yes, absolutely. And so are you competing in the talent competition? No. No? Okay. Well, you know what? Evening you get to, you get to compete in evening gown, and you have a beautiful dress already now, so you're prepared and ready to go, Trinity and, and Mom. Um, what are some of the things that you feel, and I'm going to get to you as well, um, is, is a benefit to competing in something like this? And I'll grab that microphone from you. So, yeah, so what are the, some of the things that you feel as a mom? Um, I'm excited for her to get to join this. I think it will help boost her confidence some, too. Um, like she was saying, they're they don't get to participate in these kind of things. So it's a big step for her. So I'm super excited just to see her blossom and, and get on stage and be a part of it. So. <laughs> well, your smile is so beautiful and it's gonna be shining out there on Saturday. Thank you so much, Trinity. And I do wanna introduce um, you and, and your daughter here, explain who she is and then also as a mom, why this is something that you're excited about having her participate in. So this is Rosalie. Um, she was born with Moel Wilson syndrome and we are excited to have her compete this year because um, there's not that many events that we are able to participate in and having <laughs> having resources out there like once a month like Brie offers it gives us the opportunity to talk to other families also while <laughs> under the same struggles as we are absolutely and she's just so excited <laughs> she's, she's looking so, so gorgeous <laughs> she's yes. gonna do great on stage okay? <laughs> yes, yes absolutely um let's let's talk a little bit more about some of those events that happen after the pageant because that's a big part of the all it sounds like an all year organization and involvement um, this is our first year that Miss California Extraordinaire has launched, so it's developing day by day. Wow. Um, but Casey here, our assistant director, she helps put on those monthly events uh, in August. She's put on for us a potluck that we're going to have for the girls um, and a swimming party wow. at the local park. So it's going to be great. Um, and yes, those events will continue all year long, even if those aren't participating in the pageant or don't want to come back to participate next year. It's just an event for our community, basically. That's awesome. And before we go, tell us exactly where we can find all your information. You can find all the information at the Miss California Extraordinary Facebook page, or you can go on to the website, exactly how it's spelled. Um, what other platforms are we on? We have now? a GoFundMe. Yeah, we're raising money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we we're do have the GoFundMe. We're raising money to grant one wish to our winning contestant this year, whether that be a new medical device, wheelchair, family vacation. So we're raising money for that. So we're also on GoFundMe at Miss Extraordinaire. Okay, perfect. Well,